So a few years ago, my girlfriend and I, we decided to go see a movie downtown. And for some idiotic reason, we decided to buy one of those giant buckets of popcorn. And I actually ended up eating most, if not all of it, before the movie had even started. So stupid decision. And I guess you could say that's where the real drama begins. After the movie ends, we're walking to the car and I just feel sick, but I'm able to, to fight that off. We think, you know what, it's 25 minutes till we get home, it's, it's not really going to be a problem. So we get into the car and we're driving, and all of a sudden the popcorn in my body just decides to change direction towards the poop realm. And I'm not going to share this with my girlfriend, so I just keep it to myself. My body is just rigid with tension trying to, to hold this in. So we're driving, and we just run into a giant wall of bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, and I think, oh my god, this is the end. And my girlfriend can clearly sense that something is wrong, so she looks over at me and calmly but blatantly just goes, do you have to poop? And our relationship wasn't necessarily at poop status yet, but I just kind of looked straight forward and just said, yep. We think, okay, you know what? Our best option is probably to take the next exit, whatever it is. However, the next exit that was coming up was just a really bad neighborhood. But we decided, you know what? That's what has to happen. So we get off the exit and I'm driving like Jason Bourne. I'm just weaving in and out of traffic and we make a turn and I can see there's an in the distance and I think, oh my God, salvation. But then this really fast thought process just rockets through my head and I think, no, this can't be an option because if you go in there and there's someone in the bathroom or they're cleaning it or it's locked, whatever the reason, you're gonna poop your pants in front of 30 plus people in a bad neighborhood. So all those kind of mark off the checklist, this isn't gonna work. And I just decide, you know what, game time decision, let's drive my car over the sidewalk and just behind this uh, abandoned factory building. I scamper out of this car like a, a wild animal. I run behind a dumpster and I just shit my brains out. I've never felt lower as a human being in my entire life. Uh, but the next step now is how do I clean myself up? So I, I ditch the underwear, use that as toilet paper, and I'm looking around for what else I can use and think, no, you're behind an abandoned factory. You don't need a tetanus shot in your asshole. So that's not gonna be an option. So I pull my pants up. I kind of waddle back to the car. My girlfriend is hysterically laughing this entire time. Uh, and I'd cleaned out my car the day before. So there was nothing I couldn't use. Napkins, paper towels, nothing. Uh, but there were uh, Google map directions. So I decided to use those go back behind the dumpster, clean myself up as best as I can to that point, get back into the car, I'm smelling terrible, continue our drive home, eventually we make it home, I take a shower, I'm, I'm back to a full human being status, and for the rest of that day and into the night, this thought process that just kind of lodged itself in my brain was, what if someone goes behind that dumpster and they see this just mess of just human poop everywhere, and they think, oh my God, who, who did this? What kind of disgusting monster is responsible for this? And then his partner, I guess, picks up a piece of paper and says, here's his Google map directions. His address is right here. Let's go get him. And I, that doesn't make any sense, but that's what I had in my head. Um, so uh, needless to say, I was never held accountable for my actions. So that is good. And I'm proud to say that the brave lady in that story is still my girlfriend today. And I would say that Pooh brought us closer together.